Hello everyone, TER here, and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program tutorial, where today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely rocket which can get to the moon and also has a detachable rover, so I've had a request of someone to do to do this um, rocket, so I thought, why not, let's give it a go, but um, obviously, uh, why, why is there only one there? It's supposed to be two. Oh, well, but yeah, this is what it looks like, so... I'm just going to give it a go, show you how to build it, and then obviously just give it a little launch, show you how it works, and obviously do all the staging, and hopefully it turn out quite well. So if we go ahead and click new, right. So the first thing you want, you want the command pod mark one. So this is the pod you want to have, and um, next you want a decoupler. So a decoupler, I'm going to use this one. So I want to put that there. Then you want a parachute, obviously. So you want to get the radial mount parachute, the Mark II R. Click that, and then you want to you want to put one either side. So obviously, don't do it where your guy gets out. You want to do it about there. And then next, obviously, you well not obviously because you've never done this before, or well you might have, but I don't know. So next, you want to get one of these fuel tanks. Shove. Oh, there shove that on there like that and then what you want to do you want to get just a small little rocket shove that on there and um you want to go back to your decouplers and where are the decouplers I've completely forgotten yeah they're here you want to go back to your decouplers you want to get the same one as i did the top so it's called the tr18a stack decoupler and then you want to be shoving that there so then mix that right so we're going to come back to the top here because we want to do some stuff to our little pod. So I think it's utility. You want to go to utility and you want to get this ladder. So it's quite a big ladder and you want to put that there so your Kerbal can climb out whenever he feels like it. And then you want to get the the LT1 landing struts. Change this to 4. And then somehow try and put it on but it don't seem want to go on come on right no come on this makes me really angry when it does this oh bloody hell why is there two on there change it back to one quick might have been because that was there Get this and now change it to four. And I haven't even got him out. Why is everything going wrong today? Right now, I'm starting to get really angry. There, right, they're finally on. So after you've done all that, now what you want to do, you want to go to propulsion. You want to go to the next page, or maybe if you got the old version, because some of you might have the demo. You want to get the FLT800 fuel tank, and then I'm gonna shove that on there. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put another one on. So shove another one on, and then I'm gonna put. Why am I going there? And then I'm gonna put a fat rocket on the bottom. Shove that on there. So now we got all this. So that's our centre rocket. Right now, before I do any, I'll build the rover at the end, so, I've done a video on this before, on how to get to the moon, this is the rocket I used, so, um, that actually looks quite big, ah, oh, no, it, no, no, let's take one away, ah, oh, come on, take one, scrap it, let's take one away, you don't want it too big, or heavy even, Shove that on there and then get the same rocket. So it's the LVT free O liquid fuel engine. Shove that on there, like so. Right now, let's put that back to one just in case. Right, no, I actually need it at two now. Do you want to go to utility? Is it utility? No, it's not utility. You want structural and then you want the TT70 radial decouplers and you want to put one each side of your rocket, like that, 
and then we're going to add some more rockets on so we're going to go back to propulsion go to the ones we put here so we want that again the FLT 800 fuel tank and you want to try and get them on there so these are a pain in the ass to get on and there we got them on. and then you want to put another two below them and then of course you want to shove some rockets on so use the same rockets as that one you used there but we might want to move this up a bit No, it's not. Come on. Oh no. I'll tell you what. Maybe if we move these up a bit. Okay. This is starting to get on my nerves. And there. Right, that'll do. And now, obviously, you want to make them secure. So you want to go to structural and you want to get the. EAS for strut connector. And you obviously want two of them, so we want to put that on there, and then you want to put it onto there, so then it's a bit more safer. And then just to make it more stable, just put some on wherever you like. Ah, oh, box! Now I'm starting to get really pissed. <laughs> right. Let's try that again. So if one there, just connect it to your middle rocket. And then, might as well just put another one on. Just make sure it's proper safe. And then. You want to go to utility. No, you don't. You want to go to propulsion and then the next page. And then you want to get the FTX2 external fuel duct. So then, like all the fuel that's in here, it go into these ones. So shove them on there. And we're going to back to structural and we'll put just one more on the end, on the bottom. Oh, no, we don't want to be doing that. Put that on there. So there we are. Looking quite cool there. And now we want to get another two of them. So are we in the right place. I think we are. Yeah, we are. So you want to shove them on here again. And then this bit gets kind of easy because you just gotta go back to propulsion, get these, and just shove these on here. And there we are. So I think I've put them a bit too high. Moving down to about there. Yeah, and that looks better. And then, oh my god! Go in the middle. There. Right, now we can move on. So now we've got them. Now we just want to make it secure, so you want to do the same as you've done with these ones here. You want to get these, just make sure it's secure. Just put a couple on. Just put on those two at the top, and then just shove a couple at the bottom. There we go. So that make it a lot more stable there. And then I think we're nearly done, guys. So now the final part is obviously the rover. So wait, oh, I hate finding this thing. It's so annoying to find. Yeah. So it's in st structural, and then it's the whatever that says rover mat. <laughs> and then you want to turn it that way. Oh wait, you got to put a decoupler there so you can actually get it off. Just want to put this little small one to the TR2C stacked separator. Put that on there, and then you want to shove that on there. And then obviously you want to do the wheels, so you want to go here. You want to get the Rove Map Model S2 wheels. 
they're kind of kind of good, you know. And now it's going to do this bloody right like that, like that, and then finally put two on the end. Let's move that bit over. So there's our wheels, and then obviously. You need some solar panels. I said it right at the time because my other video I said I'm not. I'm not even gonna go there. There's just no need. Right. So you wanna shove three along. Then all we need now is our batteries. So you want to see. 100 rechargeable battery packs. You want to put one there. Remember, it's still on two, so want to be there, and then want to be around the other side. So always keep that. Remember what you're doing with that. Um, you want to get another, another two, and shove them there. So that's your rover done. So that's practically the rocket done. Except from go to structural, and you want to shove some of these on for when you launch off. So I say put it about there. Oh, Christ. There we go, shove that there. So our rocket is complete. So that's the rocket. Now all we need to do is this staging. So first we obviously want these ones to go off, but what's that one? He so look, you can see it highlights up, so look, you see that rocket when you hover over that, there like that. See? So that means it's them. So you want to drag these two down here because you want these lot to go off at the same time because these will run out before these so then you, when these run out you click space there drop off and these carry on going and then your decouplers there go there that's fine and these want to go at the start as well because when you launch off then you obviously want them to let go ah oh, Christ come down shove them there and these will come off so you remember highlights it look at the little green bit highlights and then after that you want these ones to come off so yeah they come off and then this rocket will start down here so it's all right in a minute and then yeah as you can see over here this one to come off then and then let's zoom out a bit so we can see a bit more yeah that's right and then What's this one? Ah, you don't want that going, that's your rover one, so you don't want that to be detaching. You want that to, you want that one to go off after after you've got rid of this bit, so that's right there, and then you got that, and then what's this? Yeah, so then you want to put that one up here, and you want to put this, oh, wait, you want to make an extra one. I'm going to shove that one there. And then that's fine. If we do another plus, put that one in there. So this is your staging. So copy this down. So you got them, then you got them, and them. So they all go at the same time at the start. So remember, the bottom ones are the first things. Some people make the mistake and think these are the things that go off first. These are the things that go off first. And then it get rid of it get rid of them when they've run out. And it get rid of the other ones when they go and then this one to start and then get rid of that when you finish with that so remember click space to get rid of stuff when it finishes and then you click space and then this one to start in here and then you click space again when that's finished say you landed you click space and your little pod will drop off and then you click space again and your rover will drop off and then obviously you click space again if you need to use your what's it called oh bollocks that's it your parachute so yeah it's all good so that's how that's how you make that. So if we if we go give it a little test launch. Hey everyone, I'm back and we are on the launch pad. So without further ado, let's throttle up and launch. So you see these two are going and then obviously you click space and there go off. And then you click space again and then there go off. Obviously when they're out of fuel because Bit and then you click space again and then this one to go and then when you're finished with that you click space on that and that will go but it's kind of weird a minute because it's kind of 
pushing me. And then you click space again to get rid of that, and obviously this one starts. And it's kind of went weird, and you click space again to decouple your little pod. So if we... And you decouple again to get rid of your rover. It's kind of went weird, but the rover has decoupled. There you go, you can see that. And also that is, and then you click space again, and your parachutes come out. So that is how you do that. So all, all the settings are good. So it's all brilliant. And it all works, so that hopefully should get you to the moon, but, um, you know, I'll record it there, so. This has been a tutorial on how to make a moon rocket with a detachable rover. But, um, remember to like and subscribe, and favourite it if you ever need to see it again. But, yeah, this has been T, yeah, signing out.